Now let's get started with the while loop. Since it is also a loop would be having all the common features like any other loop but the question is what is the difference? As in the for loop we should know the number of iterations it is not that particular in case of while loop. So basically we will use the while loop when a program is having its own condition and I want to execute a loop until that condition is true. For example, if I want to walk from my office to my home, I don't know how many steps exactly I need to take, but I will keep on walking unless and until I reach my destination, my home. So the similar situation will occur with the while loop also where the exact number of execution will not be known, but we will execute this loop till a particular condition. For example, if I want to find the 100 prime numbers starting from 1, so I exactly don't know which is the 100th prime number. All right. So in such situations, I can go for the while loop. But as I said earlier in the previous video, if you are very comfortable with the loops, anytime you can replace one loop with the another. It is just the ideal statements I'm talking about. So here's the syntax like a while keyword right after a condition which must be returning a boolean and then a conditional code. So this is how a very simple syntax. All right. You can write this code and how it will execute. Let's see that. So first of all, the condition will be checked if it is true code block and so uh, it will keep on executing as soon as the condition is false, the loop will get terminated. But it's something more than that. Let's see practically and do that. Here in the implementation of while loop, I have written a program in which I'm counting the digits of a number. So for the number, I'm taking the user input using the prompt box and whatever will come, I'll convert it to the integer using this parse int method. For counting, I have taken a counter variable which is initialized with zero. And here it's a condition like while num is greater than zero. I'm not passing any number of iterations here in this program. So let's see how this program will work like here. So let's say in the user input, I entered a four digit number like 5432. And obviously the counter is initialized with a zero. Now, when this condition will be checked like 5432 is greater than zero, obviously it is greater than zero. So it will come inside, the control will come inside and what it will do, it will divide the number with 10. So when you will divide the 5432 with 10, it will become 543.2. All right, let's pass a comment. All right, now, so 543.2. And actually, I don't want to take this decimal number. That's why what I have done, I have used the math the dot trunk method, which will truncate the number to the uh, lower digit to the zeroth decimal places. So it will become 543. And now the increment will be done in the counter. It will become one from zero. Now this loop will run again. So 543 is the current value of num, which is still greater than zero. Again, it will come inside and will divide with zero. will truncate the decimal part and then it will become 54. It will become two. Next time when this condition will be checked, this is still greater than zero. Control will come inside and uh, it will become 5.4, which will truncate it by uh, five and the counter is again working fine. Now the next time it will uh, do this particular thing five is divided by 10. So it will become 0 0.5 and again when it will be truncated it will become a zero and the counter will be incremented by one and it will become four. Now when this condition will be checked so num is having zero now. So zero is not greater than zero. So this loop will be terminated and outside I am printing the value like digits is the value of count and count is having four in this situation. All right. So let's execute this program and see how the output is looking like. So here, let's say I am entering six digit number. All right. So when I will execute it, it's showing six. All right. If I enter four digit number, it's saying four. So this is all about the while loop. So as I said in the description also, we don't know how many times a loop is going to execute. This is a loop and uh, as per the requirement, it is changing the number of cycles. If 
I am entering a six digit number, the same loop is running for six times. If I will enter a two digit number or one digit number, it will execute it to that number of time. So this is all about the syntax and the concept of while loop.